Hello everybody, my name is Yitrue, and today I have a color correction tutorial for anybody who's watching this video. Now first off, I'm going to start off by putting in your media, this one's called Clips, and before you do anything, anything at all, you want to go to Event Pan Crop, go to Source, maintain aspect ratio make sure that is on no now drag in the sides here to make it full screen so that way you don't have like annoying black bars and stuff I made a preset called full screen so I'm just going to use that and it's full screen from here what I do I clicked on here where it says event effect and here's all the presets I made. This one's called Cool Colors, and this is the one I used on my mini, e mini edit on Mercury Cinema, and it's on my channel, but it has no color correction whatsoever. So let's get started. So double click that, and right now it's opening. Be kind of slow. So I'm just gonna wait for this to. Uh, uh. All right, here we go. As you can see, it changes the whole screen pretty much to a different color. In my opinion, it looks pretty nice. So the, the five effects I'm using are color curves, radial, radial blur, saturation adjust, sharpen, and then soft contrast. First, we want to start off with color curves. The preset I'm using is cool colors. And from there, I just take this little point and move it pretty much to the side like that and then I drag this down move this point down like that so it looks kind of blue that's a little too blue for me anyways so just just make sure it's at wherever you want it to be because it's all in your opinion next we got radio blur uh, the type is proportional so it goes throughout the edges and isn't in one giant spot and then at strength is at 0 0.3363 and I made a preset it's called the year why I called it that I don't know but saturation adjust uh, for this the amount is 0 0.514 Center 0 0.682, spread 0 0.192, then low 0 0.752, and at high it's negative 0 0.228. And again, I made a preset. And for sharpen, I use three, exactly three. Pretty much because it makes the quality look better overall. And for uh, soft contrast, I used the, the default preset or one of the default presets called soft moderate contrast. And I, the only thing I do is bring down the contrast and put it at zero. Now from there you can add on many different effects. It's all in your opinion and just to make it your own. And from there. You just highlight whatever clip that is that you want to render. So I'm just gonna quickly render this. My render settings are I use the default template because this is the only one that really works for me. Internet 1280 by 720 30p or frames per second. Simply because I've tried other things and it just doesn't render right. And from there you want to hit save and it will render, but I'm not going to render it because I'm kind of lazy. So that's it for the tutorial. And there are many effects in Sony Vegas that you can use to uh, change it to your personal preference. And this can be done on uh, Vegas Pro 10, which I'm using, or Vegas Pro 9, whichever one you have. And that's it for the tutorial and I'm out. Peace.